Good day. I'm Stephen Davids and in this video I will discuss at the start of file settings for Blender video editing. I do know there are many other ed settings that one can use but these are the settings that are useful for me and which I use and that I think you can also benefit from. There are three settings and the first settings that uh, is important is our opening window settings. The opening window in the video blend the opening setting in the video blender editing window that you access from here in the video editing are basically the three basic settings and this is audio scrubbing the second setting that I uh, highlight and tick off is the AV sync setting and then the third setting is the frame dropping setting. So audio scrubbing setting allow you to move the audio scrubber and you can see the audio scrubber. The second se setting enables as far as I know the synchronization of the audio as well as the video and this the third frame dropping setting enables and preferred in if the audio and video are out of, coming out of zinc it rather then drops frames in order to keep the audio. the third excuse me the second settings is the property window settings and in this setting I and the display will while I'm busy uh, editing I use image editor because this allows you to see where the you are at this moment in time uh, when you are busy editing. Sound and, and, and video are together. And then you also get the resolution. The resolution I select is 1280 by 720. This resolution is very well for publication on YouTube as well as the frame rate of 29.97 goes very well for with uh, YouTube. Then the frame range, the frame range of course starts at 1 and the end frame as the beginning it is set on 5000 this is I think the default. Uh, for me this it, it is for the videos I make this is a good uh, uh, beginning and then uh, you can as the you progress and the video becomes longer you just manually set it. I also said here on a no border uh, uh, this uh, click this element and then e the uh, output be, um, directory where the videos must be output to uh, you uh, I made my um, directory and then I selected it and here I clicked also overwrite in other words, if you save a new version of the um, video, it will overwrite the existing video. And this causes no, sometimes a problem because uh, if you created a video yesterday and you output it today, the same video, it simply overwrites the video, giving it yesterday's date. And you can look for today's video, it's not one month today. It is the same, it has the same characteristics, printing characteristics, time of yesterday, as, but uh, it will be the latest uh, uh, version. Then, in terms of the colors, I do not work with black and white, but I use uh, red, green, and blue, the color output. And then also the type of videos that I output. In my case, I select. Uh, MPEG videos that I output as well as the encoding therefore the way uh, the files must be encoded is MPEG4 and the codex that it must be used is also MPEG4 and then this G GOP size this GOP size must be half of the frame rate and because I have 19 point uh, oh, excuse me 29 point uh, 97 frame rate this 18 is the closest that one can get 
The third setting is the user preferences setting. And in the user preferences setting, to get there, you go to the file options, user preferences, uh, and it opens the user preferences. I go to the add on, and uh, usually, and I already have uploaded and so, uh, the transform tool. And if you want to get the transform tool, which is very handy, there are many videos available to get the transform tool. I did upload it and then go on the add ons and then sequencer, VSE transform tool that must be enabled, as well as here the sequencer. First, sorry, we first go here is the sequencer category sequencer, and then we the sequencer the sequencer video, we click here and the transform tool. Another user preference is namely on the input and it is very important for the input that it is marked down here emulate three button mouse. Emulate three button mouse is because the commands of uh, Blender is usually for the three mouse button and I use a key um, pad uh, on a, a laptop and the keypad doesn't have two the three buttons but two mouses and therefore you emulate the three mouse button that must be done and in that case for the middle button you create press then left um, uh, plus the touch keypad after having then your settings you then save your file startup uh, settings as a file startup file and then uh, when you restart Blender, it will also always start with those settings. Should you have made a mistake somewhere or you want to revert back to the uh, factory defaults, all you need to do to restore the factory defaults is to go to the file, the old factory settings uh, uh, option and uh, then you can then uh, after the uh, factory settings were loaded. You can then just save uh, it as the startup file, and the factory settings will be will override the existing, maybe wrong settings in your startup file, and you will have a new startup file. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please like and share this video, and give us a thumbs up.